Hi, thanks for watching this video on an overview of the WP EZ website builder and the dashboard or admin area. What is WP EZ? We have taken a WordPress program, the most popular website platform, and we have eliminated four of the biggest challenges that make the actual WordPress program difficult to use. First, we have found many of the best mobile friendly themes for templates to use and pre installed them and given you access to them. Secondly, we have found the best plugins that give you the functionality that you are looking for for your website, such as Calendar, Image Gallery, Newsletter, and more that are also pre-installed for use. The third challenge we have eliminated are the complicated extra features that are rarely used in a WordPress program and can complicate the use of the program and clutter the screen. And lastly, we take care of the maintenance and updates that are needed to secure your website. Internet browsers get updated and therefore plugin developers need to update the plugins. We will check on this for you and keep the program and plugins up to date so you do not have to do it and we will save you time in the process. Now we will take a look at the WP Easy dashboard, which is the back end of your website. You get there by first logging into your account at myocc.ourchurch.com. Once logged in, you're going to click on your WP Easy admin button and the following page or tab that opens up is your WP Easy dashboard. Now if you have a free site like I do here with the freesites.ourchurch.com, you're going to click on this WP Easy Admin button and the dashboard is going to look differently. You're going to have a limit for how many pages and disk space that you can have for your website. So at the very top you're going to see the disk space that you're using as well as the number of pages. If you need more disk space or pages, you can upgrade by clicking on the upgrade button at any time. We're going to first talk about the links going across the top. We have the link for the OurChurch.com site. The next link with a little house next to it is to view your site and you can open it in a new tab right beside this one and you will be able to view your website. Then we have a comment section so anytime somebody has submitted a comment to your blog or pages this is where you can access it. And then we have a new button for any posts, media, pages or events or newsletters that you would like to create. On the left hand side is a red border and you will have the WPEZ dashboard section which is in the main portion of the page right here. You can go to your pages where you can list all of your pages, the menu options which are your page names, this is your menu in the order that you want it to display, you have your media which is your audios, videos, PDF and Word documents, you can switch your theme or the background to your website. The next button is to edit your theme so that you can edit the font or the title which appears over here. You also have a more option with all of the plugins that you can tweak or edit to your preferences. Next we have the OCC client area. You can open that in a new tab. And when you go to the tab you will have a pop-up and you can click no thanks and then you're back to your OCC dashboard. Then we have some help pages that you can click on as well and it will open up in a new tab across your screen. Now to the main portion of the WP Easy dashboard. Here we have a mood status. How do you feel about your website? This helps us to know how you're feeling with your website. If you're feeling excited about it because things are working out for you. If you're happy with it, things are going well. Okay, maybe you want something better for your website. You can always let us know in the comments. Frustrated because something's not working for you. Upset, confused. This will send us an email so that we know how you are feeling about your website. And that way we can help you if need be. Next we have a site ranking. We have 2,865 websites and out of that many websites I am the number 540 and you can find out more details here under the site ranking system. You will also see how many visitors you had coming to your website and again here's a link to view more details. Next we have our website status and we have 10 recommendations for a website and if you have completed all 10 of these it will show the results here. You can request a complimentary review and we will check to see if you meet those 10 recommendations. On the right hand side we have a version of the WPEZ program and we have a 1.0 version and a 2.0 version. The 2.0 version is the drag and drop option. So if you wanted to change to the 2.0 version, you would switch your theme 
to a 2.0 theme and it will take you from there. Next, you're going to have some plugins that are not yet activated. To activate them, you simply would click on the button to activate these plugins. And at the very bottom on the right, there is the OurChurch.com news and the OurChurch.com blog that you may or may not be receiving by your email. So this is the back end of your website. This is where you would make certain edits with your plugins that you are wanting on your site and any other information regarding the WPEZ program. And that is the overview of the WPEZ dashboard. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.